Ice to uh, rejuvenate your system, once for the furnace, once for the air conditioner. As you can see, this blower motor that runs when you're running your air conditioner and your furnace uh, can get very, very filthy. Uh, oh, look at that. And uh, people that have pets, you'll see here in just a second, uh, that have cats and dogs, this particular homeowner did, you'll see the hair build up that you're breathing as you run your air conditioner right. and your furnace. Most people have no clue that that's happening. <laughs> so that's the best way when you're one of the first 10 callers, we come out twice, $55, uh, and uh, this is for people with older systems that, are, that aren't ready to replace it. It's the only place we offer this when we come live. What a great deal. Thanks, thanks for the education. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Once again, thanks for serving, Baron Larson. Thank you. You know, today marks Veterans Day, but did you know that the first Veterans Day was celebrated on November 11th, 1919? This date was chosen as Armistice Day to commemorate the first anniversary of the end of World War I. While the date of the celebration was changed numerous times, President Ford finally made November 11th the official date for observance for Veterans Day in 1977. Stay with us. After the break, we discuss how to change the lives of local veterans. Second Co. will be right back. This segment was paid for by Big Mountain Heating and Air. We all have lots of things to remember. Passwords, anniversaries, milk. Now during the Medicare annual enrollment period, Blue Shield would like you to remember this number. Dial it and learn about a Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plan with no plan premiums, no deductibles, no copays for basic x-rays and lab services, and no copays for preferred generic drugs at network pharmacies that offer preferred cost sharing. All worth remembering. Blue Shield of California is a not-for-profit health plan dedicated to ensuring all Californians have access to high-quality health care at an affordable price. And we pledge to limit our annual net income to 2% of revenue. We've added new providers to our network. And we've been awarded a four-star rating from Medicare for the fourth year in a row. Call 877-432-2407 for a free information kit and learn more about Medicare plans from Blue Shield. Call 877-432-2407. Your social security disability claim has been denied and you don't understand why. Your physical or mental conditions make it impossible for you to work. I'm Rob Smolich. If you can't work, give us a call. We can help you apply or appeal if you've been denied. We're a law firm for hardworking people. Call Smolich and Smolich toll free. 1-800-443-1345. There's no fee unless you win. Introducing the new California Freedom Plan from Assurance Wireless, a California lifeline provider with free unlimited calling and free unlimited texting for eligible California customers. You get a free phone, free unlimited nationwide calling, plus free unlimited texts each month. You may qualify if you're on Medi-Cal or certain other public assistance programs. If you have a California lifeline or federal lifeline discounted home phone or cell phone, it's easy to switch. Call 1-800-622-2299 or visit assurancewireless.com slash CA. Wednesday, it's a problem parents have. My kids are spoiled rotten. And a solution kids hate. You're all getting jobs. What? You get a job, you get a job, everybody gets a job! What is this happening? All new Blackish Wednesday on ABC. I met a new guy. He has a wife. She slept with her professor and ended up dead. You lied when you said you didn't sleep with her. You lied the night she was killed. Did you know she was pregnant? How to Get Away with Murder, new Thursday on ABC. On this Veterans Day, one local organization understands veterans' needs and is helping create a safe and trusting environment at the Veterans Community Center. Matt Cardoza and his wife Kendra are veterans advocates, and they join me right now to share the importance of providing resources for local veterans. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Very important. Happy Veterans Day. Thanks. Tell us about the Veterans Community Center and where they're located. Veterans Community Center is located in Citrus Heights and they help veterans that suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome and traumatic brain injury. Right, and we know it as PTSD, right? And there's also TBI, which is a newer kind of one that I heard. So uh, what kind of services do you guys offer there? Uh, they offer services for veterans that suffer from those two mental illnesses and basically they offer a uh, program where they can come in and socialize with one another. Right now they have um, card games they can play. They can come for a place to gather and eat breakfast together and um, drink coffee and use the computers, read through books and you know socialize and, and it helps them uh, 
just get those skills back that a lot of veterans um, after war don't don't have. Kendra, is socializing a veteran who comes back suffering from one of these ailments, is that the best way to kind of get them going and reacclimate themselves into society? Is that how it works? Is that the best way? I think so. I really do. Yeah, I've seen a lot of changes in people at the center. Um, Matt will tell you a little bit more about that later on. Okay. But yeah. Interesting. Something I don't really know a lot about, so I'm glad you guys are here. Captain Joseph House, tell us about that. Yeah, it's um, a nonprofit organization. Um, it was dedicated to Captain um, Joe Schultz. He's actually from here, went to El Camino High School, unfortunately lost his life in Afghanistan in 2011. What his mother did was she created this foundation. It's a beautiful foundation. Um, it serves the families of our fallen soldiers, which is something that you don't see. You see a lot of people serving the veterans, but the families, it's a beautiful foundation. What they do is they have this house where they can go. It's like a respite, mm -hmm. and they receive um, you know, education, and they're there to heal and to, to basically, um, it helps them with their loss. So it's, it's a beautiful place. Sounds like it. How do you guys get involved? I got involved by just chance, and then I found it helped me as much as it helped other veterans that I was able to become a part of their lives. Um, I suffered a stroke during my second brain surgery, and I have a TBI myself. So it's helped me a lot and because and I had my stroke before I graduated college and once I graduated it's kind of helped me like by um, I've been doing basically lots of things for them raising funds. Um, I started out first working on their computers because that's what I do for a living. That's my degree is in computer science so when I walked in the building first um, Jim the founder of the community center I asked him if he could use any help with his computers, and then from there it just kind of sprung out. Like he said, "Can you do this? Can you do that?" Yeah, you're a Renaissance man, Matt. Mm. <laughs> so briefly, uh, what is TBI? Uh, briefly. Traumatic brain injury. Like, okay. Like yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how can people get involved? This is so important. Um, I think we have a slide or something, but if you go to um, my website, um, www.mdccomputersolutions.com and then you see the blue highlighted uh, community link and the first one under that it says veterans fundraiser and mm -hmm. once you go to that you can scroll down a little bit and there's going to be a, a download button where you can see the um, document that describes the two foundations and any way that you can help and it'll show you like sponsors that were involved last year and if you want to donate, there's a yellow donate button right below that. You guys make it easy. Yeah. And it should make it easy because people should donate. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank yeah. you. We appreciate it. Once again, happy Veterans Day to some veterans here. Take a moment today to salute a veteran and thank them for what they've done for our great country. There are several free events happening right here in our area where viewers can go and do just that. The first is happening right now until 2 p.m. Head down to the Capitol Mall Greens to take part in the fourth annual Veterans Day Parade. After the parade, there'll be food trucks, a band competition, and activities for the kids. And it's all free. Spend the rest of this day getting uh, getting this rest of this day off and learn a history lesson about this country. Go to the Aerospace Museum of California. The museum will be open to the public for free thanks to Wells Fargo and will feature open cockpits, Tuskegee Airmen, and a solemn wreath laying ceremony. This, the museum is open and it's free to everyone until 5 p.m. today. Finally, wind down your Veterans Day celebrations with a free Veterans Day concert from the premier orchestra of the Sacramento Youth Symphony. The arousing versions of our country's most patriotic songs starting at 6 p.m. tonight at the Community Center Theater. Admission is free. Just RSVP at 916-731-5777. Very, very cool. A lot of this stuff going on here. Now, remembering veterans and all they do can help to remind people that every day a man or woman who fought for this country is possibly living another night without food or shelter. It's heartbreaking. Randall Britt wanted to help our veterans get back on their feet with the services provided through the America's Homeless Veterans Organization. And he joins me now to share how viewers like you can help change the lives of a veteran. Randall, welcome. Thank you very much. Randall, uh, tell us about the America's Homeless Veterans Organization. America's Homeless Veterans Organization is a group of veterans, volunteers, and alumni with a uh, solitary goal in mind, and that's to help eradicate homelessness for our veterans. So we join in many of the other uh, programs and processes that are out there to support our veterans, to do whatever's necessary to get them off the street, to get them with a shelter over their head that's not cardboard, 
and to keep them healthy, medical-wise, uh, physically and mentally. How prevalent is homelessness amongst Un our veterans? Unfortunately, it's one in five. Wow. And that's with today's conflicts coming back. One in five go directly to the street because they lack structure and they lack the programs that are available immediately to them to avoid that. And that's what you guys are here for. That's what you guys are doing. Uh, tell us how you, you're, you attempt to get these vets off the streets. Well, the first thing that we do is we, uh, we go out there onto the street and we meet them to meet and greet and we talk to them and we have to, uh, we have to find out what their needs are. Uh, not everybody's the same out there and the needs that they have aren't going to be the same. So we have to ascertain exactly what resources are gonna fit them best and then we either refer them over there or in most cases, because they are homeless, we have to take them. Mm. So we have a group of volunteers that provide transportation to and from, and we do have some programs that are coming uh, soon where we will be taking those uh, programs and processes to the street so that we don't have to take them uh, to the resources. Why should people be concerned about the mental well-being, the physical well-being of our vets? Well, number one, we have a moral obligation to repay and to pay forward. Mm, true. If we don't do something now, then we'll be paying more in the future because we're going to have to provide more extensive medical uh, help to them, uh, more of the tax dollars will go towards other programs that would support them but not make them uh, stand alone, getting them off the street back on their feet, not a prop up. Sure. Um, now, talk about your son. This hits close to home for you. Your son had a certain perception of homeless veterans. My son had the same perception that a lot of people have and that's all homeless people are, uh, they are drug addicts and alcoholics. And it wasn't until we went to a homeless feed that he saw some children his own age. Mm. And it hit him like a ton of bricks that these kids were homeless, they're not drug addicts and they're not alcoholics and it changed his perspective 180 degrees. Amazing. Now, how, how can people help? People can help by going to uh, ahvets.org or car cardboardconcepts.org. We have uh, developed a pay forward process where you can sign up and sponsor a military family where they can purchase and save money on things that they use every day. And as a reward to yourself, you also can use the same sponsorship as a reward for you, your family, or to anyone that you wanted to dedicate it to. And it would also save you on uh, money on things that you would use every day. And that's anything from Disneyland to a uh, dozen eggs at the grocery store. Wow, so your son who is now a convert, is he helping you out, is he standing side by side? Absolutely, he's with me, he's with me today, he's with me on all of the things that we go on and he's really excited to put together his goal is to bring showers to the homeless so we are very happy to see the bath guy today we're going to talk to them and see if we can collaborate and make something happen and make his dream and his goal come true as well all right we're going to meet him in a little bit but uh, thanks for joining us in this episode of sag and co and we will see you tomorrow melissa paul will be back tomorrow thanks for joining us It's Empire Today's biggest sale. 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE. Today. What do we have here? Oh, look, we have a bunch. Babies who are talked to from the time they're born are more likely to have a successful future. Talking and reading to children in their first years has a huge impact on what they do with the rest of their lives. The fewer words they hear, the greater their chances of dropping out of school and getting into trouble. Talk, read, sing. Your words have the power to shape their world. Learn more at first5california.com slash parents. You've been part of the family for as long as I can remember, and you just mean so much to all of us. The holidays wouldn't be the same without your crescent rolls. <laughs> we got you a little something. We got you jeans. It's about time. Piping hot Pillsbury crescent rolls make your holidays pop. Well, I drove Grandpa to speed dating this week, so I should probably get the last roll. Yeah, but I practiced my bassoon. And I listened. I can do this. 
Everyone deserves ooey gooey Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. Make the weekend pop. When you need money and you need it fast, call 1-800-514-CASH.